live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Dell EMC World 2017. Brought to you by Dell EMC. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live at Dell EMC World 2017, our eighth year coverage with theCUBE, formerly EMC World, now Dell EMC World. This is theCUBE's coverage. I'm John Furrier with my co-host, Paul Gillen. Our next two guests are Craig Bonero, who's the Senior Vice President General Manager of the Mid-Range and Entry Storage Solutions at Dell EMC, and Pierre Luca Giudelli, VP of Product Management at Dell. Guys, welcome to theCUBE, great to see you guys. Thank Likewise, you. thanks for so having us. So give us the update. We're hearing a ton of um, stories, because the top story is obviously the combination, merger, acquisition, whatever side you want to call it, acquired who, but all, all good, good stories. I mean, some speed bumps, little bumps along the way, but nothing horrific, great stories. Synergies was the word we've been searing. Sure. So you got to have some great growth with the Dell scale, entry level touch point, growth, high end, get more entry level, give us the update. Yeah, absolutely. So, again, first and foremost, I wanted to you know, call out to all our customers and partners that are critical for the success that we've seen, no doubt. And actually, uh, we've committed uh, better together going forth, which is why you saw two of our launches, both on the Uni line and the SC line, which historically were part of uh, EMC and Dell, respectively, prior. Um, and main point is, uh, a lot of the feedback we got from customers was, you know, they really respected and appreciate our customer choice first philosophy, but also understanding that there's clear demarcation where the, each of those technologies play in their sweet spot. Well, as how, well. how are you demarcate, demarcating them Absolutely. right now? Absolutely. Yeah, so traditionally, um, you know, pre uh, EMC acquisition, what we actually ended up determining is when you define the mid-range market set we were looking at, right, it was more in the upper range, upper level of it, where we're driving value um, from a technology aspect, and with our Uni product set, we were focusing heavily into the all flash market segment too, which is one of the major refreshes we did here. And then in the Dell storage, which is very server affinity, you know, a direct attached you know, construct at the uh, entry through the lower end of the mid-range band, it was actually some very clear, clear slim lanes of where each of the respective products played to their strengths as well. And so as a result of that, we've really taken that to heart with a hybrid offering on the SC side to get your economics, you know, again, the, the effectively our 10 10 cents per gig, as David Gould had outlined on, on Monday, as far as the most affordable hybrid solution there on the market. Um, and then you go to the upper you know, premium level of value capability with all flash to deal with your performance workloads and other characteristics. Here, Luca, talk about the overlap, because we, we addressed that with Gould, hit him head on, head on with that. Turns out, not a lot of overlap, but as you guys come together with, we just had Toshiba on this earlier, flash is obviously a big part of the success, mm -hmm. getting those price points down to the entry yep. mid-range enabling that kind of performance and cost is key, but as you look at the product portfolio, where are the areas you guys are doubling down on and where's kind of some of the overlap being taken care of, if any? Yeah, so let me tell you, the first thing that is very important and we, we have in this show is the reaffirmation of the investment in the two products. So we have a panel, actually yesterday, host a panel with 120 customers divide 50% between uh, legacy uh, Heritage Dell, Heritage EMC customer, and the amazing things there was uh, the flash adoption is very strong, but also they want to have economic also for hybrid is very strong. So this is really fit our two products. Because if you remember, Compelling has been created as the best storage for data progression. And we double down on Unity now that we announce a completely full line of Unity product today. Right? So, and the other things on the SC line, we reaffirm the completion of the family with the, the new 5020 that provide more performance, more capacity, much more limits, and will drive our 4020 customer to a very new product. So, yes, some people before they think, oh, these guys, they have a lot of overlap, but actually we have two amazing products that they play together in this market. And they, talk about the customer dynamic, because that's interesting about the, almost the 50-50 split, as you mentioned. They got to be, I mean, not, I mean, their, their indifference is probably, they probably like, bring on the better product, because I'm not, I mean, I am not hearing any revolts. Right, that no one's really revolting. Yeah. Can you just share the perspective of some of the insight that they're telling you about the, the, what they're expecting for you, from you guys? So, so I, I think it's very, <laughs> it's very fun to be in this uh, position where we are right now, where we have uh, such a good portfolio of product where customer, company, people inside of our company start to learn how this product works, right? Because you, 
you sell what you know, right? Or you use what you know. You, you, you people, right? Try yeah. to do the same things every day. So we are forced now to look outside of our pod and say, you know, we have two products, what is the benefit? And now we sparkle this discussion with the customer. And in any customer, we have, a, we have before tremendous amount of common customer, right? Uh, the customer, they have preference, but now they say, oh, let me, an SC customer say, oh, maybe I have a use case for an old flash array with Unity. And the SC customer uh, say, oh, maybe now I can run this application on uh, Unity or SC or open up to a different things. What we say is, this is the line I use, we are, uh, um, we are the top one now because we can solve any use case, right? If you look at our competitors, they try to cover everything with one product, right? You and can mix and match. Yes, we time. can mix and match, and we have a very differentiated part between the two. As we said, SC economy, drive economy, with the fact that we can have a dedupe compression on spinning media, right? Unity optimized for flash. So is, there, is there any uh, incompatibility between the two? Do the two platforms work pretty seamlessly together? Yes. Yeah, so, no, so let me expand a little further on that. So one of the things we did highlight is part of the all flash offering for Unity 350 through the 650, the four new entry models. Customers were surprised, you know, and there were some questions on the level of innovation we were driving. A year later, getting a full platform refresh was a very, very big surprise for customers, right? Typically, two years, 18 months of other vendors in view, and they're like, you just launched the product last year, and you already have a refresh. And we did that because we listened to customer requirements, and in the all flash, the performance is absolutely critical. So the controller upgrade, we went from a Haswell to Broadwell design. We actually had added additional core capabilities and memory, and all with the architecture built to do an online data and place upgrade that we'll be driving later in the year too. So, and the SC5020 that we announced too, as a separate product line too, complementing as Priyuka stated, but the third area that hasn't been necessarily amplified, but customers have raved about, seeing in the showroom area is our Cloud IQ technology, which is actually built off of Cloud Foundry, that's the value of the portfolio of the company and is strategic aligned business, and actually it does preemptive and proactive not only monitoring, but we're taking that from Jeff Goudreau's keynote today, that whole definition of autonomous and self-aware storage. Well, in mid-range, because of all the use cases and requirements, we're driving that into it. And there's actually, in, we have compatibility between Uni and SC in Cloud IQ as that one pane of glass. It's not an element manager, but more to take that value to a whole new level. And then we're going to continue to drive that level innovation beyond, not just through software, but clearly leveraging better together talent to really solve some key business needs for customers. As David Goulden always says in theCUBE, it's better to have overlap than holes in the product yeah, line. So that's cool that you guys got that address and certainly mixing and matches. That's the standard operating procedure these days when a lot of the guys in IT, they know how to do that. Yep. The key is, does it thread together? Yep. So congratulations. The hard question that I want to ask you guys is, and this is what everyone wants to know about, where the customer wins. Okay, because at the end of the day, you'd be number one at whatever old category, scoreboard. Sure. The scoreboard of customers is what we're looking at. Are you getting more customers? Are they adopting, are they implementing variety of versions? Give us the update on the wins and, and what the combination is of, of Dell, EMC coming together. Sure. What has that done for sales and wins? Yeah, so there's a public blog I posted before Dell EMC World, um, and it's about the one-two punch with mid-range storage. And what so was the title of that at, blog post? Uh, it's basically a, a one-two punch uh, relative to our mid-range storage, and I'll provide you the link and follow-up. I'll look at The reason right we, we preemptively had provided that was the biggest question I would get from customers is, which product are you going to choose? And our point was both. Right, both, both products, the power of the portfolio. We don't need to choose one. And our install base on both those technologies is significant, but in that post, I also did quote some of the publicly available IDC data, which showed us in our last quarter, in Q4, when you compare Q3 to Q4, we actually had double digit quarter growth for both Uni and SE, our primary leading lines in both the portfolio, which actually allowed us to get effectively back into a mid-range you know, market share segment. Now that's for purpose built. That reflects a very, Positive trend for Dell EMC yep. mid-range storage portfolio. That's quoting correct. directly from your blog post. That's One-two correct. punch drives mid-range storage momentum. Correct. And, and it's not only the storage, right? <laughs> uh, I, I've been with a, a very big customer of us. Uh, I was telling to an analyst this morning, uh, it's amazing to see the motion of the business that we can do now that we are Dell EMC. 
So being a private company in one sense allow us to do things, creative things that we didn't do before. So we can actually position not only one product or two products, but the entire portfolio. And as you see, right, with the server business, the affinity that some of the storage they have with the server, we can drive more and more adoption for our customers. Just, just quickly, how is your channel reacting to all this? Are they, are they fully under, under board? Do they understand? Are they out there selling both, both solutions? 100%. Uh, we put a lot of investment in our channel enablement across the mid-range storage products and portfolio as well, because that's the primary motion that we drive as well. And that allowed us to actually enable them for success, both from education education enabling and clearly proper incentives in play. They've been very well received. Um, the feedback we've gotten has been overwhelmingly yeah. positive and uh, we've been complementing that more and more with constant refresh of not only our technology and sharing roadmap delivery so that it can plan ahead as that story I asked Mike Amarius Haas and David Goulden the question. They both had the same answer. It's good to see them on the same page, but I said, yeah. you know, what's where the wins? And they both commented that where there was EMC storage, they bring more Dell in. Yeah. Where there was Dell, they bring more EMC storage Correct. in. That's what I, yes, that's what I just described with okay. this customer. The new business motion that we can now propose, like we have a very loyal customer from uh, Heritage EMC, for example, but now we can offer also server, a software defined on top of that, and the storage, right? And you can enter from the other one, from the server, and position now a full portfolio of storage. All right, I'm going to ask you a personal question, so I'd like to get your reaction to. Take your sure. EMC hat off for a second, yep. put your you know, industry participant, you know, individual hat on. What's the biggest surprise from the combination, from your area of expertise and your jobs that you've personally observed with the combination? Customer adoption, technology, uh, tech, technology debt that wasn't there, uh, chaos, mayhem, I mean what? Yeah, so what? I'll comment first. I think the, I mean, recognizing the real power of global scale and what I mean by that is the combined set, so from an organization and R&D investment, being able to have global scale where you have engineering working literally 24 by five, right, based on effectively a fall of the sun model, that's how you're seeing that innovation engine just cranking into high gear. Um, and that is, was further extended with the power of the supply chain and innovation bringing together has been, uh, in my opinion, powerful actually, engine of innovation. Super powerful, right? Because a couple of customers had shared with me, it's like my concern is if I go with a startup that may not be in business in, in, relative to the supply chain leverage and the level of innovation, breadth and depth of products that great, we have. That's a great point. Before we go to your Luke, I want to just double comment on that. We're seeing the same thing in the marketplace. A lot of the startups can't get into the storage pure, yep. I don't mean pure storage, the pure storage sure. play because scale requirements is now the new barrier to entry, exactly. not necessarily the technology. So that's kind of reaffirmed, that's why the startups are kind of doing a lot of data protection, white space stuff, and the right. valuations, by the way, are skyrocketing. Go ahead, your comment, uh, observation, Sure. that surprised you, or didn't surprise you, or took you by storm? What I, are... I, I need to say that uh, I'm living a dream in this moment, because uh, <laughs> I think it's a, a few times in life that you can experience a transformation, and you can have the ability, actually, in my role that I have right now, to accelerate this transformation. And uh, it's not a common thing to do in a company that you already established, so this shake, this come together, give you more and more opportunities. So I'm so very excited to do what I'm doing, and I love it. Right? It's an injection of the scale and yes. more capabilities. It's like going to the gym and you're like, you're pumped up, yes. you're in shape. Actually, I start, to <laughs> went, I start to go to the gym after 20 years, so. <laughs> it's like a good meal, you're Italian, you can appreciate a yes. good, good buffet <laughs> of resource, right? That's right. Dell's got the, it's awesome. the gourmet, you know, every day I, I found something new, some product that I didn't know, something that we did, innovation that we have in the company that we can actually use together. It's very, very exciting. And the management teams are pretty solid. I mean, you look at, they didn't really just come in and decimate EMC. Essentially, it was truly a combination. Yes. Some say that EMC acquired Dell, some say Dell acquired EMC. The fact that that even this being discussed shows a nice balance yeah. in terms of a lot of the EMC at the helm. Yep. It's great sales force. Great commercial business with Dell. Very well played, I, th I think. You guys feel the yes. same way? No, I appreciate I think, that. Yeah. And uh, couldn't agree more. And I think it shows, and as you look at business results, and even from an employee satisfaction level, we continue to see that being record high, right? Because uh, there's always that uncertainty, but the, actually the interesting piece is <laughs> people have really been jazzed based on the, one, the opportunity ahead. All right, we're done complimenting. Let's get to the critical analysis. Um, what's on the roadmap? 
a tell, lot. Tell us what's coming down the pike. Um, I know you're probably, hell, you do earnings call a lot of stuff, but you guys have been transparent in some of the things. What can yeah. you say about what's coming out for customers? What can they expect like, from you guys in the storage? Yeah, yeah. I'll let Pierre look at running yeah. the product management team. He drives that every day. <laughs> so, so I have to not say my uh, spill it all. that I'm getting, Share it I'm all. getting in trouble. You're Italian, just spill it all. Yeah, <laughs> come on. That's the problem <laughs> You're um, living the dream, come on. We have only 20 minutes, so. Um, no, um, really, as I said, we, we announced the 50-20, right? The, we had the 70-20 in August. We are planning to finish uh, the lineup of the new family of SC, for sure. We announced the ability to tier into the cloud. We're going to expand that. Uh, also, we announced a full new set uh, family of uh, Flash Unity. So we're going down that trajectory to offer more and more. And uh, we're going to be very bold to offer also upgrades from, uh, from old gen to the new gen and non-destructive upgrade and also online upgrade. So it's a, it's a very, very beefy roadmap that we show with the, our customer in the NDH section. Uh, I need to say the feedback is tremendous. And to your point at the beginning, what is the ecosystem? How you integrate the thing? You're going to see more and more, the, for example, the UI, the experience for the customer being the same. So the experience from UI perspective. Simplicity. There yes. You go. Simplicity, Simplicity is the, the new norm. Key. Oh. Cloud IQ, key but also going deep in the product to have the same kind of philosophy. Hey, I always say, this great business model, make things super fast, really easy to use, and really intuitive. Exactly. Can't go wrong with that yes. triple threat right there. So that's like, that's what you guys are going. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Guys, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE and sharing the insight and update. Congratulations on the one-two punch and the momentum and the success. That's the score where we look at on theCUBE. Our customers adopting it, sharing all the data here inside theCUBE, live in Las Vegas with Dell EMC World 2017. Stay with us for more coverage after this short break.